I got a Heathkit Hero 1 robot. Yeah, but it's Snow Hero 2000. Mm. Again. A. D. Zero. Two. Zero, zero. Hello, my name is Theo. Ready? <laughs> The old progress on the Hero, Hero One robot here. Um, it worked for a few minutes and died. So I've just been kind of tinkering with this to see what's going on. I replaced uh, the batteries. Got all new uh, sealed lead acid batteries in there. Um, I've got it kind of doing some troubleshooting on it. And I'm starting to remove and clean the PCBA boards and connectors. Uh, I'm just going to be trying this, this CRC electronic cleaner because um, what I'm finding is if um, you wiggle the connectors, uh, the boards will power up intermittently. It just seems like a lot of the, the wire connections are intermittent, especially on the I.O. board. You wiggle some of these wires, it'll partially power up and conk out. Um, I've tried like a ton of different things and... So what I'm trying now is on the main power board, uh, notice if you wiggle some of the wires, you would get some intermittent connections. Um, so I tried cleaning the connectors, that didn't work. So what I'm trying now is I'm pulling out each one of these um, wires out of the power connectors. I already did these ones. And just soldering, you know, at <laughs> the soldering iron. And I'm, I'm touching the iron on the, the, the uh, crimps. In these connectors and just so I'm gonna resolder this this one and this one put it back together I already kind of cleaned this up this used to have flux a lot of heavy flux on it um, but it's all clean uh, I touched up a bunch of solder joints on here um, just cleaning up touching up joints cleaned in the uh, connectors to see if I can get that intermittent connection stuff to go away and uh, see if I get more of this robot online the more of these connectors I'm cleaning, and the more the robot comes online and the more systems come up. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through and keep cleaning connectors. There's a, a large row of connectors here. Um, and every, like all the troubleshooting I'm doing in, from the manuals is pointing back to the I.O. board, which is pointing to these various connectors. So uh, I'm thinking it's the, the main power stuff looks okay. It's the logic signals that seem to be having trouble. So maybe there's some, you know, after 40 years, there's some oxidation build up on these different connectors. Um, I'm going to try and see what happens. So at this point, I'm just cleaning, removing oxidation and things like that. And I will keep you updated.
thing hasn't moved for about 30 years, so. <laughs> I guess that's something, right? 